Hey guys, I'm actually finished with my appointment and I'm gonna drive home now for about two and a half hours, but I wanted to say something super fast before I start this video and it is prosthetists. Listen up. You have an incredible life-giving, joy-giving job. And if you do it correctly, the person you're helping will find new meaning to life. They will be able to live the life that they've always wanted. You are essentially giving someone back their freedom. Don't take that lightly. I have an incredible prosthetist and I highly recommend him. He answers every question thoroughly. He asks me things that I didn't even know and he goes over every single situation before it comes up. And I'm so grateful to have found him. And if your questions are not getting answered by your prosthetist, you need to find a new one because their job is to help you. And if you're not happy with your leg, do not sign off on that sucker and pay them until you are happy with your leg because that is their job. Again, it is their job to help you. And if they're not helping you, find a new one. I'm so excited about my new leg and I can't wait to show you the process of it. It's exciting, it's informational, and some of it made me cry. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make, but maybe showing my journey will help others remember who they are. We are not defined by our circumstances. I know you have a bucket list and so do I. So scared or not, let's take back control of our own destiny because we are worth it. I think they're making my leg right now, but I can't go watch because I'm sitting here with no leg.
curved, so it will just keep on beeping until it so all the air is out. Yeah. Okay, there. Better. Yep. Still has a tiny bit of popping, but it's much better. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy right? how much I'm volume always you the put. <laughs> it's crazy how much volume you pump out so quickly. But with that other ring, I wonder if it'll be too fat. Do you yeah. think? Um, Can you? Do you have to push the button or to get it off? You have to un unscrew it. Okay, so it was just tight. It just as tight. Okay, and then it'll let the air. Today, I'm really sore. I don't know what that means. We did a whole lot on my leg yesterday. I was walking around a lot. We were putting liners on, taking liners off um, the rings. We were trying to find different combinations to make my leg work because what happened was whenever he measured me in the morning after all the activity, my leg shrank by the time I put it on and so it was losing suction. So we had to go through this liner matched with this ring um, and then switch it out and do a different ring and a different liner and all the different combinations until we got it to work. This morning, it fits really well. I got it to fit pretty easily, but it's really, really sore. So my plan was to walk on the treadmill, walk outside, walk on the sidewalk, go to the mall, um, you know, buy some makeup, something like that, so that I can really get a feel for my everyday life. I really want to know if this is gonna work for me or not before I head back home because it's another five to six to seven hours full day to get it adjusted. It's as close to human as I can possibly get you. Okay, great. 
I mean, your 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 step time is 0.64 seconds, 0.64 seconds. Your cycle time, 1.28, 1.28 seconds. Okay. Your step length is actually a little bit longer on the prosthetic side. You're 55 centimeter on the prosthetic side, and you're 54 on your sound side. So your sound side can actually step up a little. Okay. You're also a little bit longer on the step length on the prosthetic side. So your prosthetic side wants to go, and your good side is keeping it up. Okay. Your double support, 34.4%. On the left side, 35.2% on the right side. So there's 0.8% difference in the prosthetic height in the in the amount of pressure that you're applying, which means that the prosthetic height is a little bit short on the prosthetic side. Okay. Yeah. There's 0.8% of your body weight difference, which is most probably about <clears throat> maybe two millimeters that we need to lengthen you up. And the pressures are all green and red, uh, green and yellow. Okay. Yeah, we're, dim we're golden. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how a leg was made. I know it was fun for me because I didn't know that there were so many processes and steps. I ended up having to take out some big chunks out of the back and this material right here is flexible, so it will bend and shape as time goes on more to the um, shape of my leg and the shape of my prosthesis. One of the biggest struggles that I'm gonna have with having my socket and getting on with this new life is I've always taken steps very, very carefully. Um, inside, outside, doesn't matter. I have to think about every step that I take, and now that I have this prosthesis that goes all the way up my leg for support, I'm not going to have to be as careful because what he was explaining was that if I step off a little bit, the foot absorbs that. The foot moves in order to, you know, hit a hole or step off a curb or something like that. So I'm very much looking forward to not having such a tight grip all the time in my mind about watch where you're going, step carefully, um, because for the past 11 years, if I didn't do that, then that's when I would fall. I'm excited about all the adventures that we're gonna take as a family. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.